Hey guys, so we're doing a vent thread. If you have anything to vent about tabletop games or any games that you're playing at the minute. Do you have any problem players? Yeah. Is your DM up to no good? Do you have... Just vent. Just, what's Just the... vent. Let it all go in the comments. Let release, us know. At least your anger. Spread it out <laughs> into the world and maybe we might do a video on it next <laughs> week. If we got enough good ones. But yeah. Look, let's get into this. Whether you're a player or a GM, get in here and let us know how your games and parties are going. Problem with players? Struggling with motivation? What's up? Have a friend from high school. One of my first and only high school friends since we bonded over tabletop games. He's a bit lazy and a stoner, but still was a good friend to talk to about whatever. Fast forward and now we're in college. Friend is more unmotivated than ever, and our group had to basically push him to not drop out. Find time out of college schedule to GM a bi-weekly game for the first time in months with high school friends and some new people. Now literally the only thing my friend ever talks about with me is his D&D character and ideas for campaigns he will never run. The face when my game is both supporting his unhealthy work ethic, but it's also the only thing he looks forward to anymore. Oh, That's kind of sad, almost. That is sad. Be me. Want to play literally anything except D&D for the millionth time. Maybe a smaller system with more grounded characters and more comfy plots. Something closer to Dungeon Maasai, small personal stories rather than D&D's Skyrim style, you're the big damn hero the world needs game structure. Even offer to DM something new myself. IRL friends suddenly find every excuse to be busy or pass in the campaigns. Try to play online with randos, they all want D&D as well. And the few that don't, openly say as much, still never read the rules or whatever other game I'm running and expect their D&D knowledge to be enough to coast by on, when the games I'm trying usually aren't even D20 games. Relent, give up, go back to D&D and escape the dull hells of being a forever DM and playing systems nobody cares about. Realise I'm lucky to even have a friend group of active D&D players slash DMs to crawl back into, but still feel empty and unfilled inside because it's D&D. Again. You know, I don't think the problem with it is once people learn the little set for it, they're mm. kind of happy with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is very I haven't hard. got. I, I, can, I get it if you played like DD a lot, it c- can come t- yeah, become come tiring. On, else, I haven't got scene. to that stage yet. Um, I still yeah, like DD. I, I really want to play Shadowgun. I really, so do I. really, really want to play Shadowgun. I really want to play Shadowgun. Yeah, so do I. And I just don't know anyone that's interested enough in it or a lot of them are like yeah we'll play Shadowgun but we'll use 5e little sets or you know what I mean it's, it, it, you guys know you guys know what I'm right semi forever DM gone three stages of running Pathfinder first edition Starfinder and now Savage Worlds mean grip is a bunch of good old friends some of them good players other less so but still good friends break up the Starfinder game last year because some people are leaving for uni Briefly tried Discord, but it drops off because I hate doing online games and was falling out of love with Starfinder anyway. Formulate a Victorian era Angel Lovecraft setting that I like a lot better while players are away. Get them to try it in Savage Worlds because it's much simpler for them and I don't have to reteach them Pathfinder rules every time their turn comes around. Instantly realise that half the players aren't here to enjoy the narrative as they shriek and shitpost their way through the one shot about demon haunted manors, jungle cult hideouts, and mountain top temples to fallen angels. Be mature and ask offending players to take it more seriously for the narrative's sake. Get a non apology because they just enjoy playing whimsical characters. I feel like this is directed towards it me. It is directed towards you. <laughs> Start the Starfinder campaign again painstakingly converted to Savage Worlds for the ease of play. Covid hits, then dies again after two Discord sessions. Still want the play, still want the DM, but half of my close-knit group are anathema to the stories I want to tell. Now I am looking at COC, I don't know which one that is because anytime I say it's called Cthulhu, people Everyone are like, no! <laughs> it always says, there in the comments. I'm going to assume it's called Cthulhu this time. Now I'm looking at COC and having to tell myself no, because there's no way my lot would be able to play full on Eldritch Horror straight. Yes, it is called, it is called Ooh, Ooh, we got that for one once. No, you know, I think COVID really destroyed so many games. It's unreal. Yeah. It, it destroyed so my, many it friend, destroyed my, RL, my yeah, IRL game. So many g- game groups and then it's, it's, <laughs> it's trying to get to everybody online, together. Maybe people will find other people to play with by the time COVID 
Yeah, you comes know, cross, you know, I've pretty much moved only online, and like even though we're kind of out of lockdown for us, um, the group that I was playing with, they're like, uh, no, we're just going to continue with uh, people that played through COVID. Um, I don't know if that was a quick way of them being like, look, James, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, James, nobody <laughs> wants to play with you. <laughs> it could have been. James, you're that guy. <laughs> Leave that us guy. alone. <laughs> Be me, playing Pathfinder campaign. Tired of the system, but my friend is the GM and asked me to play. Coming to the end of an arc, rolling up a new PC. GM opens up new races, so long as we can justify it. Decide to play a Warforged. I am a man after all. Slight magical realm. Don't judge, it's a shit system, and there has to be some light in it. Okay, so roll up my PC. Saladin, because GM wants the newbie to run a fighter to get used to the system. Replace religion and such with bonuses to defend my chosen ward, basically a bodyguard. Draw inspiration from Strelizia. Sketching my PC out. It's shit because I can't draw, but I'm invested for once. Even if it's through the power of Penner. Meet up with a GM to discuss backstory. Character luck comes up. Start describing. My sketch isn't done so I can't show. Well, no and on, I think you should look more like this. Shows me a bit from Pazio trademarked art of a Warforged. Looks like a mini retarded iron giant in more steampunk tones. <laughs> fucking awful. Yeah, they fucking are awful. Like, let's be serious, guys. Yeah, they, 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 come on here. The official artwork does not look that cool. Yeah, they, they look like the fucking. So they look like a fucking mass magician. <laughs> so it is fucking. a mass magician. <laughs> <laughs> GM insists I should look like this, and then starts talking about how I should rebuild my PC and equipment to be uber tank and more squarely built. Just be like the other player's current PC. Completely the opposite of my concept and backstory. Oh, and you can have two bucklers, but I'm not letting you stack them. And your shoulder repeating crossbow will need another person to operate it. What? Hey, what's the point? But Warfare's not meant to be very strong anyway, so if they can do it, he should be able to do it. I think he's wanting to do it more like a shoulder mount, like an Iron Man, sort of like, you know, like shoulder myself. Oh, yeah. That's what I think he's trying to go for. Explain my Magitech concept, and I'm using the weapon stats but renaming them. No dice. Fuck's sake, just let me have some pleasure in this awful system. Let me have my cool mecha PC. Oh, see, it really does sound like a really cool PC. I'm kind of sick of a lot of Warforged, to be honest with you. You know what I hate what? the most? I, I hate whenever DMs try and tell the fucking character, the players, oh no, you need to play this. Yeah, that's never a good I sign. Hate, but I hate that. I'm, it's honestly, too controlling over a game. And like, really, let's be honest with you, I think for the even weapons, whatever way you want is fine. Yeah. I give you a good example. So for me, I'm currently playing a spell jammer game. I'm playing as like a pirate sort of goblin with a peg leg, but the peg leg is also like a lifeful. I think it's kind of cool, but it, <laughs> it, 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 it's just a leaf flavored crossbow. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't like see any like you know like it adds to rule play. I'm not. I'm yeah. just changing the name of something. I think that's cool. You yeah. know what I mean. I don't really don't think that should affect gameplay wise all yeah. that much. Like let's be serious. There's way worse home blue shit out there. Way, way worse. Like, let's be serious. Don't even try and start this type of shit. <laughs> leave the leave name in something is fine. Yeah. There's so much home blue shit out there that's just sort of broken. Let's yeah. not even get into it. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just like to say thank you to everyone who buys the models and the titty lizard girls are nearly gone. Well, the titty version is sold out, but the non-titty version is still in stock. I think we've still got 10 of them. Yeah. Um, but, but don't we, worry, there will be more in the next month or so. It's yeah. just, you know, it takes time to... And we have a lot of other different models, so go head on over to the eBay store and check them out. And it really is the best way to support this channel. And we really appreciate everyone who has bought models and you get some really cool stuff in return. Honestly, so, the models do look good. They're really I, nice. I, I, I honestly, I, I feel like I'm sucking me in deck here, but I think the models are really They're really, cool. really nice. You know what I mean? So but look, we're ahead. rambling. Go check it out. Uh, the links are all down below and let's get on to the video. Play 5th edition. Great campaign and great group. Game's nearly finished. Discussing what to do next. I recommend several other systems. Everyone's up for it except one guy. He makes a huge fuss about it. Group will collapse if he leaves. He's already playing 5th edition four times a week. How will the group collapse from one fella? And also, what a bitch, boy, let's be serious. I know. 
Like, you know, like if everyone else is up for it, you know, just what I mean? play it. You don't just know that you don't go. like it until you play it. Like, just Foxy. give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? And like, let's be honest with you, if you don't know how something works, just be like, you know, what I mean, how, how, how do you do this? Yeah. What am I, little one? All oh, right, okay, yeah, sure, no sweat. Wait, what can I do in this turn? You know what I mean? Like, is it really that bad? Exactly. You know, stop being a bitch. Will you? <laughs> be forever GM. Burnt out. Player offers to start GMing since he's always wanted to try it. Gladly accept. His campaign is some Ezekai shit and five uh, sessions in, it's the most boring railroad shit I've ever played. Know that he's a new GM and hope you'll get better. Know that he's extremely sensitive to criticism so don't want to be too hard on him or he'll quit altogether. The face when stuck in this boring as fuck campaign. Probably the worst part is that everyone else seemed to be having as much fun as they did in my campaign. Mm, maybe your campaign was boring. <laughs> uh, could it be the case? Now, you know the problem is, what I, the way I view it, for me personally, is being a DM is kind of like being a chef. Mm-hmm. You kind of be, have to be open to criticism from time to time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like everyone's got their idea of what cooking is. Yeah. And I think everyone's got that idea, like the same idea when it comes to like tabletop games in general. You know what I mean? And if you've got yeah. a shit DM, you're going to have a shit game. If, whereas if you only have like a shit player, you know, yeah. th- it's I, a work What around. he said at the, the last there, like, that he's seen everyone as having as much fun as his campaign. Well, maybe it's just a good group because personally, yeah, if it's in a good group, I don't care who DMs because it's still fun because you're playing with people that you like. Yeah, it's more of a social interaction yeah. than anything. Yeah, you know? rather than the the plot, the game, the GM. <laughs> this feels like, you know what this is? That's uh, me. Maybe it was the friends we made along the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the real, maybe the real um, tabletop RPG was a friends. Maybe the real lit little... was friendship. <laughs> <laughs> with the power of friendship that put behind every anime ever made. <laughs> My friends support me. me. Oh fuck! Okay, next post. Next post. A few months ago, I tried to run an online one shot of Cyberpunk 2020, as there wasn't anyone running that kind of game I wanted to play. This was supposed to be my first time as GM. And so I wanted to have everything I could possibly need. Maps, tokens, NPC character sheets. Both myself and the players were excited, and I was looking forward to seeing just how good of a GM I could be. Eventually, I had everything ready to go. Do you want to know what went wrong? I forgot the day we were supposed to play on, and missed it completely. One of the players seemed to immediately cut contact and block me in Rule 20, and the other hasn't been responding to my messages. I fucked up big time and I don't know when I'd have the courage to attempt running a game again. Poor guy. Oh, so I feel, oh, really bad I feel so bad for but him. I mean, the fuck turns around does that? Could someone not have messaged him on the day? Somebody not messaged him. Go, you are we mate? playing today or have I got the dice myself? Yeah. Or, mate, are you playing, Sin? What's, or, wrong, what's wrong with sending someone a wee send message? Send somebody a message? Oh, that's so mean. That's actually, that's a little dick move, to be honest with you. Like, I don't get oh. me wrong. Like, it is it is bullshit whenever people say oh yeah we're going to be playing that day and then they, no one shows up you know yeah. what I mean it's oh kinda, that's so bad I really feel bad for this one like you you do your game as Cyberpunk 2020 you do your game you do your game if you're watching we'll I'll play, play with I'll you I'll play <laughs> your game because I actually picked up the starter pack for Cyberpunk 2020 but I haven't oh, I've never played it I haven't played, played it, it yet now the box is sitting there yeah. but I haven't had the chance to play it yet looks cool though more of a Wizards of the Coast thing that's been pissing me off No, you can't have adventures in anything but the Forgotten Realms. No, you can't have Oriental adventures. Twitter complained, so now we broke our system for race in a knee-jerk reaction. Bullshit. Well, look, this, guys, this is an entire video in and of itself. Yeah. You know, I don't really want to get too much into it. Orcs Um, are racist. Pretty much, orcs are racist, but I are racist. Um... (sighs) You can't, like, that, that Oriental... Apparently um, black people but, in general can't be represented in any form of games. Yeah. Whenever they want them represented. Uh, but they can't be represented in tabletop. And, and, like, who the fuck actually thought, you know, what black people are, they're orcs. Like, seriously. Who guys. the fuck? Who the fuck actually Who ever that? thought I, that? I, I, who I, thought that? I don't know. <laughs> like, that's a, bit that, that's a bit that annoys me, though, the most. It's these people that seem to, like... I always think of laws. orcs as just hyper-anglo. Yeah, I imagine them as, like... English football supporters. That's it, honestly what English they are. English football hooligans, that's they, it. They, if anything, they're, they're the English. They're not black people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's be serious. Yeah, you know, let's be serious about right, that. Right, back to the story. It's starting to feel bland and homogenous. It's all so tiring. My group has played most campaigns so far, and we've already been in Waterdeep three separate times, maybe four. 
We're all busy people, so we don't exactly have the time to plan a homebrew. And for me personally, I've played other systems, but I enjoy class-based tabletop games. It really only annoys me when we do get something cool. Wizards of the Coast has to make it shit or a Magic the Gathering crossover. Like, Avernus was cool until Perkins or someone kicked down the door and said, let's do Mad Max. I just want a fun campaign without one note gimmicks. Be honest with you, I kind of feel like I've got the opposite. I really want to play Curse of Strand and um, Storm King's Thunder. I've actually only ever played one um, campaign from Wizards of the Coast, mm-hmm. and even then that was the Lost Minds of Phandelver, yeah. which is a fucking starter Pack. edition one. Yeah. Which is actually a lot of fun, honestly. I really like it. No, I actually, it was alright. I actually thought it was pretty yeah. decent. But there is quite a few that I would love to have a go, but I've just never had the opportunity yeah. to. You know, I don't know, Hungary isn't that difficult, but it depends if you've got the DM that's willing to. Yeah, but if they're all busy, you can't just yeah, do it. Yeah, you can't expect homebrew. someone. It, it is very time consuming. It yes, is time series, consuming. So, you know what I mean? And A lot of know. people just find it easier just playing off book. But as long as you're not leading like word for word. Oh, you kind yeah. Of have to, like, you have to have a bit yeah. of improv from time to time. You but know that's I mean? easier to do if you have a book to base it on. Yeah, it is. It is. You, at least you've got something to fall back on yeah. if something goes out the window. Yeah. But to go back to this guy's main point, sorry about Forgotten Realms. Ugh. Well, uh, I, like, I, don't wanna, like, I don't even want to talk about that whole um, Oriental Adventures getting yeeted and the whole thought about it. It's just, it, it's it, fucking... it, it just annoys me to know yeah. that people would actually think that to begin with. You know yeah. what I mean? Who the fuck actually thought it's that? It's tabletop games. Yeah, there was a lot of good one points brought up there. Yeah. You know, and I liked it was from a lot of different angles where we were looking yeah. at things. Um, for me personally, I, I really want to do a video talking about the whole debacle with um, the lease. All of that. <laughs> like, you know, especially that last post, but it kind of, it, it happened a few months back now, and I kind of feel like... It's uh, old news, but... Yeah, it's old news, and to be honest with you, I think I would just get into more trouble than anything if I actually brought it up. spoke about it, you know? Um, but this thread is quite big, so if you liked it, we could do another video on it. Or if you have it. any of your own points that you want to talk about. And we about. get enough comments, we'll maybe make a, like a subscriber vent video <laughs> yeah tell us your problems who you stuck with anything and everything you know Table get, get it off your chest it's like it's like a sins thread but yeah. not a, it, except it's someone else's sins that you're so shouting about yeah. yeah but like I hope you guys enjoyed this one remember like comment subscribe check the way advert out it does help us out a lot and we'll see you next time bye